In today's video, we're gonna be discussing strike. I'm gonna give you a fantastic exercise to make sure you're hitting out of the center of the golf club, and it's also gonna check and see if you've got the right lie angles of golf clubs. Check out this video. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today in my back garden. Hope you guys are keeping safe from the coronavirus. That's why I'm in my garden filming this video rather than out on the golf course. If you haven't seen one of these before, I'm filming lots of YouTube content all focused at the minute around how to practice at home, whether we're talking about putting, chipping, pitching, or into long stuff that I'm gonna be covering today. And while I'm on the subject, my info for my social media channels is coming along the bottom of the screen here. I'm doing daily content on there Monday to Friday, shorter videos than these, but all focused again around how to practice at home. So check me out on there, hit the thumbs up to this video if you enjoy it, and do consider subscribing to my channel also. So today what we're gonna talk about is quality of content, and this is relevant with any golf club. I'm gonna demonstrate here with a six iron, but it's relevant whether we're talking about the shorter shots or even through into the driver. So how can we see if we're hitting the ball out of the middle of the golf club? I'm lucky enough, I haven't got it set up on this, but I have got my launch monitor with me, so I can look at with my HMT where my strike location is. But for the majority of you at home, whether you've got a net or not, we're hitting balls into makeshift nets or maybe airflow balls against the side of the house. And you could, of course, put some tape on the club to see where the dimple pattern is on the club face and that will give you a good idea on a strike location. You can use foot spray also. So the shoe spray that you'd put in there, uh, the odor almost repellent, and it would again give you a, an impact location. But all I'm gonna get you to do is if you've got a marker pen, a Sharpie pen, a great thing to do is actually draw a line. So I've got a little clip here to make sure it's a straight line, but draw a line on the golf ball. So. All I'm gonna do here is set a nice straight blue line on the ball. Now the key is then trying to get that vertical on the, on the mat. So we wanna make sure it's pointing away from the target and it is straight up vertical. So it just takes a little bit of time and set up, but this is gonna give you strike location and it's also gonna test out your lie angles. Now the one word of warning here, I've got that pretty good actually, is if we catch it heavy and the mat therefore moves before, redo it because it will give us a different result. The ball have moved before it made contact with the golf club effectively. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this and hopefully show you on my club face a line and you'll see how central that is on the face but you'll also see how vertical it is. So the line is pointing away from the target, it is vertical, it's straight up. So it's almost at my target line, which is about this central dot. Okay, let's give it a whirl. So that felt pretty solid but I know I tend to strike it a little bit out the toe. Actually, that was pretty middle. I'm gonna walk in here. So it's pretty central there. You can see on the club face. Um, so I know I've hit it in the middle of the grooved area from heel to toe. The line, what you're looking for is it to be vertical. So if you've got the toe in first, and this is to do with the lie angle of the golf club, if you've got the toe in first this way here, we know that uh, the ball's more likely for a right-handed golfer to go right to the target. The line would actually move diagonally across the club from the toe towards the heel. And if you've got the heel in first, so the club was too upright for you, so the heel is too low, the line would actually go from the heel towards the toe, so uh, diagonally the other way. So what you're trying to get is the line as vertical as possible. Mine is slightly moving from the toe towards the heel, just a little bit. So it's just showing, and I know I get this, that I've got the toe a little bit lower than the, than the heel of the golf club. I could do with golf clubs even more upright. These are actually half an inch long and a couple of degrees upright. And I don't really want to go more than that. Um, what I wanna do is keep working on my impact position. So I'd ideally like my hands to be a little bit lower through the golf ball rather than up here. So I know I tend to get a little bit that way, but that's probably only a degree off. It's not dramatic. You'd see there, the line is pretty good. Let me do one more. I'm gonna redraw. In fact, I'm gonna do it on a different golf ball. Another vertical line, great exercise. Just look at strike location. 
And at the same time, with this exercise, you can also look at lie angle. And it's worthwhile doing that with, if you're looking at lie angle, especially all your irons, you know, if you go to most places, they'll test out a seven iron and then they'll adjust all the clubs around that. It's worth going through the whole bag, in my opinion, and actually looking at it with each golf club. So again, get that line vertical. That's good. Pointing at my target line. And let's hope for another one pretty similar if I could. It was going a little left. I've actually put the line pretty much there in the same spot. So I've actually just made that line larger. I've made it a bigger line there. So I've hit the same place twice. So I know it was out in the middle. I know I'm a little bit toe deep. So we could change my lie angles and go more upright. If again, if I was toe deep, I'd expect the ball to miss to the right of the target. Uh, and I do miss some that way, but my more destructive one is probably more out to the left. So I'm, I'm not gonna work on that too much. I'm gonna try and improve my impact by lowering my handle. But use this time wisely while you're at home. If you've got the area to hit into a net, fantastic. If not, you could do the same exercise with an airflow ball and draw the line on that. Just look at that strike location, look at the line on the club face. It's gonna give you an indication on lie angle, but also strike location. If this has helped, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys soon.